Hello friends, my name is Habib. Today we're going to learn how to make a calculator, how to make simple arithmetic calculator using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. First, open up your browser and VS Code. And in VS Code, open file, open folder, documents, right click, New folder A name it's calculator Select folder Create a new file name git index.html A new file name git index.css and the new file name git index.js. So on the index.html, uh, I write HTML5. And then link the HTML, link the JavaScript to the HTML. So once you've done that, link the CSS to the. Uh, once you've done that, link the HTML to the CSS. So now right click and copy pass. Paste the pass and then we have nothing. So the first thing we have to do is that we have to create a div, then create an input and create another input. Then create another div and then create three buttons. Also, in a software like VS Code, there are these shortcuts so you can write button times four if you want to create four buttons. But if you're not using a software like VS Code or software that doesn't have these shortcuts, I have to do everything manually. So anyways, I'll give this div an ID of container and I'll give the input an ID of the value one and then value two. And I'll give this div an ID of button container now give this button ID of plus minus multiply and lastly divide plus minus multi multiply and uh, divide So now once we've done that, I'll create a new H1 that says calculator Then I'll use the style to align the text to the center and increase the font size Reload there we go, and now container. And now they are going to start styling. Go to write hashtag container. Now I want to center all these items in the container. So what I have to do is that I have to create. So I have to set the display to flex, and then justify content center. And align item center. So now it is going to be center. Now what I'm going to do, uh, yeah, I also have to create another H1 for the. This is this H1 is going to be uh, the output. So 
So now the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, put these buttons on the nozzle line. So I can use a simple BR to do that. Wait, ID equals output. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm doing it wrong. Uh. Now for the input, I want these things to be on another line. But because it's a justify content center, now these things they're going to be in the center, which I don't want. So I going to put these. Another place, and now, yay, we've done it. But now we need to put these in the center in the CSS, right? Hashtag button container display flex. Justify content center. Now they're all centered. Now write hashtag bottom container. And also this code is uh, what both of them do is that they just make all the elements inside of the hashtag container hashtag button container to be centered. Now write hashtag button container button. And increase the margin left or they come so that there can be some spacing between them or maybe just increase the margin uh, there we go and now I'm going to increase the font size And the padding uh, let me reduce the font size twenty and reduce the padding reduce increase reduce the and reduce the padding. there but you see that they're kind of rectangular i don't want them to be rectangular so so, so i will padding bottom to be longer minus 100 pieces so if you don't want to i uh, can set the padding right when set to like 10 20 pixels. I will increase the padding right. Yes, now it's now it's starting to look better. And then we can align the text to the center. Uh, so anyways.
And so now we need to style the input. You can write hashtag container input increase the padding and increase the margin. Decrease the padding. Oh yeah, and also increase the font size. Padding is twenty pixels. And now, there we go. So anyways, now that I've got this basic thing, it's time to add actual styling to it. You know, the one that makes it look good. I can now I can set the border radius of the inputs. And then remove the border. Now they're completely invisible. And now align the, the their text to the center. Oh yeah, and for the buttons, I'm also going to have to set the padding left. So that can be equal. And I will also set this one's border radius so that I can be more rounded. Border radius 30 pixels. 50 pixels. I will set the border to none. Now we have something uh, going for us. So the placeholder, I'll add value one, value two, Now we've got this very simple uh, design. So the output of I'll write a bunch of random text. Now to style the output, I write hashtag output text align center. And then I'll make it bigger. And I was going to put output before it. Output. Uh, yeah, this is definitely not the output. Just a bunch of random rubbish text I wrote. And so, yeah. We also need to change the background color because the background color is looking pretty bland. So I'll change the body to like uh, cream. No, no, I meant background color. You can't just write a color. Uh, we have to specify the background color. You can't just write the color and it will work. You have to specify the background color. Make it lighter. And now, we have a nice crimson background. And so, for the buttons, I will change the color of the buttons. I mean, the background color, not the color of the text. So I'll set it to crimson. See if this really fits. Uh, 
uh, changes to this cool buttons and then I have to change the color of the text to white and now for these two inputs I will make their background color to be crimson yeah a much lighter version of crimson cool then I'll make their text color to be crimson a darker version of of, of light crimson uh, yeah it, it's not visible And I'm going to change the background. I'm not going to change the color, color of, of the uh, button text. To be a lighter version of crimson. Wait, no, I'll change the bottom of the color text to be a darker version of crimson. Maybe black. So now I'll, I'll choose a font. So search for Varela Round font. Varela Round. View selected families. At import, copy everything. Now, if you don't have this selected, then this should be a plus. For me, it's a minus. I've already selected it. If it's a plus, then uh, click on the plus. And so, if you click on the plus, it will be selected. So once you've done that, click on that import and copy this URL. Now paste it at the top of the sink. Set the font family to Varela Rand. Cursive. Then set the font weight. 999. And now you see that makes that that makes our uh, calculator to look much better. But the problem is we can't actually do anything. We can't actually calculate what we want to, you know, calculate this because you know this is a calculator. So I'm going to get every single one of the var, I mean let uh, plus is equal to document dot get element by id plus control a wait no no control a control copy paste 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 and then replace this with minus minus multiply and divide There we go. Well, these they just they just get any element with the idea of plus, minus, multiply, and divide, which are these. 
So now we can write plus dot add event list there. Uh, let's see mouse down comma function e the output then it sets the output dot text uh, oh no control v control v and control v i'll change this to input imp1 which stands for input one and imp2 which stands for input two so it gets the idea of value one and lastly value two and then o which stands for output this is good get the idea of output so we said the o dot inner ht no 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 inner text not inner html we don't want to put any html inside of o to parse int which converts everything inside it to an integer input one plus input two so now i'll try to uh, do this not a number how is this possible ah yes uh, i was meant to put the value of input one and input two input one and input two their html element and we can't combine two html elements together that's just not possible 122 2 they make 22 and uh i'll make it to say we know so i'll make it this what this means is that anything we can add variables and do operations inside of this this is a special type of string that allows us to put variables and do operations inside of it so all right output and now yay copy and then paste it many times what this does is that this plus when this is you know clicked it will set the do this h1 it will set the text inside of it to output and then it will add the value of the first input which is this with the value of the second input and now we're going to do the same for every other thing so it changes to minus minus no i meant multiply divide and changes to minus times and divide Now let's see what is one divided by one divided by three. That's not what I meant. One divided by three. Uh, three divided by zero point one. Three divided by zero point one. No, three times zero point one. So zero times zero point five is one. And uh, three divided by six is zero. No, it's not. Uh, let me divide six by three is two. Six minus three is three. Six plus three is sixty-three. Wait a minute. Something's not right here. Six plus three is not sixty-three. Ah, yes, I'll do parse int in one plot value plus parse, parse int in two dot value. Now do the same thing six, three. Finally, it gives the correct output, which is nine, not sixty three. Anyways, that is the end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel, Obacode. Bye.